everyone now i am here with my next video of constructor in java basically in this video i am going to consider the theoretical material of constructor and how we are going to use in java and how we are going to declare a constructor in java but only theoretical material and the practically i am going to consider in my next video now see basically first of all class as you all know class is a basic principle of oops and class is a blueprint prototype or auto sketch or we can say template for an object the few things you all know but i'm repeating it so that it is a short revision for you all class contain data as well as function and constructor data can be global or we can say it is it can be instance or instance variable all are the same things and the class is divided into two parts external wrapper and internal contents and moving further they are the parts of class class basically considered into two parts external wrapper internal contents and this video belongs to constructor and constructor belongs to internal wrapper and internal wrapper belongs to a class that's why i'm repeating each and everything again internal wrapper contain data function and constructor and now we are going to proceed with the constructors now see constructor is a special method which is used to initialize global variables means it is used to initialize instance variable constructor name is same as class name you have to remember that the basic difference between a method and a constructor is method name should be different from the class name but constructor name should be same as class name see the syntax we have to write class name function bracket open close and in cur in curly braces we have to write some statements then we had de declared a constructor here i am not writing public here i am not writing any return type because in syntax we doesn't require public we doesn't require any return type we just require the class name with function bracket open close and inside the curly braces we have a task that is initialization of global variables means statements consider as initialization see the next point when we create object of a class then unit of a class is called that is constructor when we create a object as you all know how we are going to create an object class name object name equals to new class name function bracket open close semicolon when we are writing class name function bracket open close that is calling of a constructor that's why when we create object first thing happen that is calling of a constructor you have to remember that few points then see the next point when we doesn't specify access specifier in front of constructor means see in syntax i doesn't write anything that's why by default it is public and one more thing constructor always called implicitly not explicitly what do you mean by implicitly or explicitly when i am going to call a, ob a particular function from an object then i have to write object dot function name means i am calling them explicitly but constructor is the only one that is called implicitly how when we create object constructor is automatically called if you want demo i am going to provide you demo for that see if i am writing a class name that is x y z object ob equals to new x y z function bracket open close semicolon means from here constructor is called i am not calling constructor it is called by default it is called 
means it is implicitly called but when i am going to call a function then how i am going to call it i am writing ob dot particular function name and then semicolon means i am calling it explicitly it is you have to keep in mind that com constructor is only thing which is called implicitly not explicitly one more thing a class can have any number of constructor means it is not restricted that we have only one we can have any but parameter should be different you have to remember few points that's why i'm considering few few points then moving further see constructor can be public private or protected see that's why i've created each and everything for you all we can have any sort of constructor we can use any access specifier with the constructor even i'm showing you all see each and everything i'm showing constructor see class public class constructor i created int x is global variable in constructor basically i had written x equals to 0 but i had written written i'm going to consider it later on why i'm writing written i'm i'm going to show you something that's why i'm writing written see in another constructor i'm not writing any written type because written type doesn't require in constructor but if we are writing we have no issues with the constructor actually constructor never require any written type just it is created to initialize variables then i am moving further see the same thing i want to tell you the written type why i am writing written constructor never require written type but if you had write if you had already written then we have no issues with that we are not having any sort of errors any sort of syntax error but it is of no use that's why we are not writing any written type with constructor you have to remember each and everything because there is no space to store any value when it is called it doesn't have any space to receive any sort of values that's why it is of no use to return any value from constructor that's why we are not using any written type here keep few things in your mind never use any written type with constructor if you are writing no issues but it is of no use useless things it is then moving further i want to tell you with this line constructor is a class name ob is object equals to new constructor function back to open close is constructor invoking from here we are invoking a constructor means calling of a constructor now from here constructor is called means when we had create an object constructor is called implicitly we are not supposed to call it it is automatically called then again moving further see the output if i am going to display an object then what happen object is basically following a class in class is a non primitive data type and then if you are going to display a non primitive data type then what happen it is a combination of data types it means it is composite and how it is going to display 
just remember when we are writing object or array the starting location address of object is going to be displayed in front of us that's why see in terminal window as output you are having object address in front of you all it can change any time because the memory location is not fixed that's why we are having a different different address constructor object i am sharing with you all if we are going to display object what will happen we are getting address of that object and then i am moving further constructor are of two types non parameterized and parameterized what do you mean by non parameterized means we doesn't have any parameter inside a constructor and what do you mean by parameterized it accepts some value as parameter and actually what is parameter whatever we are writing inside a function bracket it is a parameter if that parameters for empty we are not having anything inside it means it is non parameterized if we are having something inside it means it is parameterized i think it is sufficient for you all then i am moving further see way of declaring a constructor how we are going to declare a constructor see first of all first one as default constructor means it is a non parameterized constructor means we are not providing any sort of value to a constructor means in this way a class name we are writing we are going to initialize any value to a variable that is a default constructor means non parameterized we are not having any parameter inside it that's why it is non parameterized what about parameterized means we are having some sort of values inside a parameter then we are going to store that value in our global variable in this way it is parameterized we can have a copy constructor also we can create we can send object also how we are going to send object if i am writing see in this way it means i am sending one object here means object passing i can able to create a copy of a given object here but how i am going to tell in next video with my programs presently just try to understand something we can share with the constructor by sending a class object and we can have any copy of that ob object that's why we can say it is a copy constructor it is basically belongs to parameterized constructor only then because i am considering only theoretical material in this video that's why i want to tell you the needs of constructor firstly go through the material what i have written constructor is generally used to assign the initial values to private data member of the class we can assign a value to a public also a protected also but if the data were private then what the private data members are not accessible outside the class but anyways if you want to access data member which is private you are not supposed to access from anywhere either you have default or copy or parameterize in this way you had created but the members were 
private, then what you have to do? If there is need to initialize private data member from outside by using object, then it can be assigned by a constructor. Means you can assign a value by using a constructor means a default constructor is going to provide a value to a constructor if we are having one class here xyz with the variable global variable a and we are having one more class abc and from here i want to access a variable a which is private i'm not going to access a because it is private from here by creating object of xyz class why because it is private we can call a default constructor and default constructor can initialize any value to a private variable means I am writing 5. We can call a constructor. Constructor is public. In public constructor can access a private data. That's why it has a need to create a constructor. Because whenever it has a need to initialize a private variable, we are not supposed to do it with the another classes we have to use constructor a default constructor so that default constructor or any other constructor can provide value to a private data members i think you can understand what i want to say and what i want to communicate now moving further and saying goodbye if you have any doubts they do ask from me. Otherwise, goodbye everyone.